Hey guys, and welcome to Pen Pals, the every other week show where I have to stand here and hold my microphone because I still don't have a mic stand. On this week's episode, we've gotten a letter from someone named Steph who lives in Canada, and she's pretty much everything that I want to be when I grow up. A musician, a musician and a teacher. So let's go and have a look at her letter, shall we? So here's our Canadian letter. Interestingly, decorated with seashells. I'd expect this from someone who lives on the coast, but Calgary is pretty far inland. You must love the beach in summertime. That's just my first impression. What's with the stamp here, though? The year of the monkey? Wait a second. It's the year of the rooster. You must have had these stamps for a while. Alright, let's open our letter up and see what's inside. So, here we have a sticker that says, Study hard, play hard. When I was in school, it was more like, Sleep hard, study whenever. On the other side, she's put some little felt stickers of kittens. I feel like this is a preview for what's to come. Well, it's not much of an explosion of cats like Olka's letter was, but once again, Stephanie knows the way to my heart. I really like the simple way that she's decorated this. You guys and your fancy letter techniques. I'm really going to have to step up my game. These letters do take a little while to get here, but hopefully I'll be a little more on track soon. Now let's read what Stephanie wrote. Steph says, Hey Nate, I hope that this letter finds you well. Since I'm writing the first letter, I'll start out introducing myself a little. My name is Stephanie, and I'm a 31-year-old school teacher. I teach grade 3 French immersion. I love my job. I've been doing it for six years. I also play bass guitar. I'm in two bands. One is an all-girl alternative rock band called Bell Armory. We have a show coming up this week with a couple of new songs. The other is called Hero Jiro. Both bands have a few songs on YouTube if you want to check them out. Well, I have checked them out and you guys are pretty kick-ass. I really like your style and you guys make some cool music, that's for sure. I've been playing bass for three years, so compared to my bandmates who have been playing their instrument for 15 plus years, I feel like a newbie. I also like to do yoga, read, study languages, and of course, writing letters. Next month, I'm taking a yoga course to teach kids. It's been on my to-do list for a while, so I'm excited. I'm hoping that I'll be able to use it at work, as I also teach my students physical education as well. I speak French, obviously, and Spanish, and I'm considering learning Japanese. I'd like to learn a new language, but I'm not sure which one yet. I've tried a little German, Portuguese, and Mandarin, but I didn't love any of them. Do you speak any other languages? No, I don't know any other languages, unfortunately. I've attempted in various capacities to learn Japanese, but one thing or another has always gotten in my way. I know a few words here and there, just enough to make me sound like a weeb, but I would like to officially pick it up one day and learn it properly. Steph goes on to write, I'm just catching up on The Walking Dead as I'm writing this to you. I'm super behind on that and Game of Thrones. My favorite shows are Friends, The Office, and The O.C. What's yours? Oh, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Well, like you, Steph, I love Game of Thrones. I'm all caught up and I'm waiting patiently, sort of, for season seven. The Walking Dead was entertaining at first, but nowadays I feel like it's a little stagnant. I've got the most recent half season to catch up on and I'll probably keep up with it, if nothing else, just because I've put so much time into watching it already. Funnily enough, I absolutely hate Friends. I have literally never laughed once at a single scene from that show. I just don't get it. But I do have a really weird weird and offbeat sense of humor, to be fair. I enjoy shows like Tim and Eric's awesome show, The Office, and Rick and Morty, but most often I find myself watching YouTube more than actual television. The YouTube channel H3H3 Productions was probably the funniest thing I had ever seen, and I still occasionally binge watch their earlier episodes. Shot, get my enema bucket, dude. Back to Steph's letter. My band just played a show last week, and we have two more next month. With the other, we lost our drummer, so we've been looking for a new one. But we have a few auditions lined up, so hopefully we'll have a new one soon. If only I was in Canada, I would audition too. I love animals, but I'm definitely a cat person. I have two, a black and white male named Theo, and a brown tabby female named Penelope. Do you have any pets? <laughs> Don't get me started. My two girls are rescue cats, and they light up my life. 
If you watch some of my other videos, you can see them lurking around or even just sitting right in front of the camera at times. Their names are Paprika and Aria. I'm from Newfoundland, the easternmost province in Canada. Ten years ago, I moved across the country to Calgary, Alberta. I love where I'm from, but I also love where I live. I definitely miss the ocean, but living by the mountains is pretty sweet, and the weather is nicer here than where I'm from. I will probably stay here, I imagine. Today I tried something new. Glass blowing. It was really fun. I made a wine glass. It's a pretty expensive hobby. I'd like to continue, but I'm not sure that I can afford to. As a teacher, I'm most looking forward to the summer. For the weather and for the break. I love my job, as I said, but I'm starting to get tired. I need the break. How was the summer? Which season do you prefer now that you're in Australia? Well, the summer was awful. I'm a very hot-natured person and air conditioning is not very viable here unless your house was built to use it. Our current unit isn't sealed properly, so even a portable one didn't really do us any good. It's also very expensive, electricity-wise. The season that I prefer is the same as always, and I just answered this in last week's episode. Steph says, the only thing I have planned so far is to visit my friend in Ottawa at some point, but I can't wait. 12 weeks. What's your favorite song of the moment? Mine is Oops by Martin Garrix. Although usually I'm more into alternative rock. What kind of bands are you into? Well, since you play and listen to alternative music, it would be shameful of me not to mention my favorite band, Circus Survive. I could listen to them on repeat all day. Every song is a masterpiece of emotion, and every instrument just connects together so well and it's all carried along on Anthony Green's haunting vocals. The drummer, Steve Clifford, is a huge influence on my drum style, and I can confidently play most of their songs on the drum kit. The band went from melodic and mysterious to a more aggressive sound as the years have gone on, but I've consistently loved every album that they've put out. They also have one of the most high energy shows that I've ever seen. My favorite song from them is very difficult to pick. Their earlier work is nostalgic to me because it's the soundtrack of my metamorphosis into adulthood. But their later work is powerful in its own right. And their most recent record is their first album where the lead singer, Anthony Green, recorded every track after breaking his addiction from heroin. I have such a deep respect for that. Ultimately, it's between these two songs but I encourage you to check out all their music though. Each song is a different place, a different time, and a different emotion. I could talk about them all day, but I'll leave it there for now. Well, that was a bit of a tangent. Uh, outside of that, I am into vaporwave music. Steph goes on to write, do you know your Myers-Briggs personality type? I find it's pretty accurate. Mine is INFJ. Let me know yours if you want. You can take a quiz online to find out. Well, I'll end this here. I hope that you're doing well. Talk soon. Steph. Well, Steph, I have taken that test in the past, and I'm an INTJ. I took the test years ago and I found it to be extremely accurate, oddly enough. If you guys are a bit confused about what I'm talking about, just check the description for a link to a very popular personality quiz. Take it yourself and see what your results are. Stephanie is an INFJ, which breaks down into introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. Whereas I am an INTJ, which is introverted, intuitive, but mine's different, thinking and judging. This means that Stephanie and I are very similar personality-wise. To put it into very simple terms, she just may or may not be more of an idealist, where I would be more of a realist. That's just a really superficial assumption though. There's no way to really know based on your individual personality type. You just have to talk to someone a bit more in depth to find out how they feel about certain stuff. The website that I'll have in the description has a list of all the different personality types and what they mean. It's a really interesting topic, and it's a great way to give yourself a bit of introspect. So that about does it for the fourth episode of Pen Pals. I really hope that you've been interested so far and that you might even want to be part of the show yourself. I'd like to thank Stephanie for writing me for this project. You're definitely a cool chick and I'm sure that your students look up to you very much. Not a lot of teachers can say they're in not just one, but two rock bands. I'm glad that you and I share a lot of common interests with both musical taste and entertainment preferences, not to mention our personality types, so I'm looking forward to writing back and forth with you. I hope that you're able to get over to the beach this summer. 
Meanwhile, I'll be enjoying the frigid grasp of the long Australian winter. I'm just kidding, it doesn't really get that cold in Queensland. Just a reminder guys, I save every letter that I get, and everyone who's featured on the show gets a place on my globe. If I'm able to pen even just 10 countries, I would consider pen pals a major success. With Stephanie's letter, I'm up to four, nearly halfway there. I can't thank you guys enough for the support and for sending in letters. Keep them coming. If you'd like to be part of this project, shoot me a letter and let me know what life is like in your corner of the world. You can send your letters to Nate at P.O. Box 642, Broad Beach, Queensland, 4218. And if you're outside the country, just put a little Australia at the bottom. For this week's comment catalyst, if you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with all that extra time? That's an easy one for me. I'd get plenty more time to edit Pen Pals videos for you guys to enjoy. And not only that, I'd have plenty of time to catch up on games. With Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood on the horizon, it's going to be a miracle for me to be able to find the time to make videos and keep up with that too. But I will surely find a way. What about you? Let everyone know in the comments below. Alright folks, that's about enough from me. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.